This is what might come to pass. A possible later. A path yet unchosen. Okay. Don't forget to make your well. Don't. Don't. Don't forget to warm up the milk before you drink it. Keep going, and I'm kicking you out. Okay, good. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you strong. Hmm. I don't know how to do the quick time events. Damn, these graphics are insane. familiar you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp it's like a romance apocalypse mm -hmm. I mean you never know the universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out the universe yeah like the uh, the cosmic space gods space gods you heard me okay spell it it's nothing to spell you know we're cool Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <clears throat> hey, what do you, uh, what do you listen to? Good to know. Isn't this where they died? Well, she didn't, Laura didn't die. She got a needle put in her neck for, by the cop, David Arquette. Bags, focus. Caitlin, yeah, she seems good for now. I like Jacob too. Mm-hmm. I like the graphics. I like the, the rays of sun coming through the trees. It looks sick. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
chips. Oh, fuck. oh fuck you, you spider fuck. That thing is diesel. Hell yeah. Ha. Eat it. Why, so I can come back, let it live so I can come back to bite me later? No, I don't think so. The music vibing. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on, broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's. I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing. It's just Dylan, frozen. please. Sorry, <laughs> guy. Cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, slowly. I can go back. Dipshit's bolted it? Really? Yeah. A bit, a bit so. Oh, there's a lake right there. Nah, I want it to keep going. Oh, skill. Take him back out. Oh, double skill. <laughs> what? I wasn't done exploring out here. Oh, I guess I was. It's blocked off. Okay, never mind. Don't say it. No, don't. Don't say it. That would be funny. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Oh. It looks a little too dark. I think I think I need to adjust it slightly. Supposed to be darker, but it doesn't look good to me when it's that dark. So I'm gonna go with 65. That should be good. It looks a little better. I mean, obviously, I think it's supposed to be a little bit dark, just because of the type of game it is. But also, temperance to be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance, take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. A bad place to get stuck. What, 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 what am I looking at? What 
What is this? Why is it blocked off? <clears throat> Where the hell is Emma? All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? Hot as that camp, by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know... Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Kaylin likes Jacob. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, Damn. child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, huh. that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. It'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Kaylin, you're a little bit too much in involved. We'll just have to find out. You, you need to remove yourself from the situation a little bit. Whoa, what? Wouldn't stealing the rotor arm be easier to fix? So I could just put it back? Break the fuel arm, but then that might break it for good. Right back tomorrow. No See? 
Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, Nick. Oh, it is directional. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Freak. Oh. Ooh, He's I wish still I had going. Some singles. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup, okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks wank at this show on the road, huh? Uh, where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Where the hell's Emma? This is a nice camp. No, that's not Emma. Emma's the chick from the beginning. Looks like she's drawing Emma. What the fuck? the emo chick. She has t tattoos and everything. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? I Let's wish I could redo that. And away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. Can't believe I messed Fuck up. Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, What's well, this chick's I'm name? just gonna oh, take Abby. another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Why would this place be in the news? Little Izzy's. I want to play a game. <laughs> Someone's going to crawl out of the eye. Hell no, I'm not bringing that with me. Yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing.
Dylan is not going to be happy that the kids just like this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. That in the trailer or something. Oh, this is probably a waste of time, but I feel like one of these is gonna let me in. No. Okay. I thought I saw something on this picnic table. Looks like a main lodge or something. Ooh. Tokyo, Boston, San Francisco. Probably, uh, that's probably ammo. Whoa, why is it? Is that a golf cart? Caitlin at a first place all summer. Who's Caitlin? It's a golf cart. Yeah, sort of. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Bye. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for, so. Probably missed something, but it's fine. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. Nah. <laughs> It's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> okay, I get it now. Oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so, hypothetically, yeah, if I were to put myself out there... The left stick. What if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right Where's here. a fucking turtleneck what? at, at <gasps> summer camp, route? though? One last victory lap around the camp. Scenic route for sure. Yes, sure. Always take That's the, the scenic route. Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. With Ugh, these right graphics? There. Plus, my subs need me. The scenic route is necessary. You know what? 
I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The <laughs> holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> Why is her mouth like that? Yeah. The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave it at you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All everyone, same. <laughs> Oh, that was Laura, for sure. Yeah, because you see how I was, like, kind of, she was, like, tank of gas, recovering so. from, like, the drug. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is, like, patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go and... Uh, you. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> what didn't you? What like? kind of accent is that? No, or her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I? Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? It's actually Joe Rogan. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. So 
some people she was, say. She was in the intro. If she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. You should have seen the kids. Oh yeah, you got a cooler one? Oh no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude, I think it just, it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, hey, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Is that Dave? Gear. Oh, that's David Arquette. Sorry, Mr. H. You had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know... I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Suspicious. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. What? Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I'll meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, that's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Scotch. Hello. Oh, they're not even gonna show it to us. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm mean, eavesdropping. What? They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get This is a waste of time. You know what? No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I, I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... I, I mean, I, would, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. Yeah. He, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know... It's a, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it! Fake ass answer. Is. Everything okay? 
You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. Yeah, it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Or is this a ghost yeah. story? Of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Dodge of what? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. I bet it's like Bigfoot or something. Where in the good goddamn are they? And the people he was talking to are like hunters. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's get at him. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on. Right, the next time would be to pop the chill, hood. Chill, dude. Like, whatever, right? <laughs> kids to check everything no we did it, it should be working yeah well coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is does it damn it okay okay well, uh, look it's not that big of a deal okay we'll just spend one more night here no no just stop let me think Oh, David Arquette was from Scream. Ah! <sighs> okay. 
Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Ron. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Ah, uh, one sec. Yeah, use the restroom for two seconds. Prepare to stay for one final night. So it is similar to an until dawn type of situation, I guess. No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids, just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. What? Oh, dude, 
Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out. Of course, you Abigail. Know, like, um, of course. Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Smart but lame. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. You have to go to that. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Mm. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me. <laughs> Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. With and what uh, car? Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Doesn't seem like there would be a store close by. So this is the Bigfoot Hunter. Yeah, but... It's not like they're not hunting. That's moonshine. What the fuck? Already? I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Nah, the hag was in the pro. Temperance. Was in the, like, <laughs> to be balanced. In the to consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes. With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards.
So here we are, stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Mm. Rich and full-bodied, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Is he breaking in? Well, what? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Viola, uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, Why would I kick it. the door when it's he's picking the lock? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> okay, so if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Mm. Probably a gun in there. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh, oh, hell yeah! Oh, jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Controlling the camera all of a sudden. I'm, well, I'm I am, but I'm also controlling the camera, which I don't like. This goes locked. <laughs> Jacob, come check this out. That was really 
Uh, <laughs> All righty then. Door, buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made a stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Put the beer in the way of the door. One of these boxes. Because I damn well don't want to get locked in here. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. It looks oh. like can't. Max. Oh, I'm good. I got good with it ever since until dawn because I didn't know their names the whole time I first played and I was like you know what I should probably get better at learning people's names anyway. Because I swear I'll meet somebody and literally two seconds later forget their name. What am I? What am I being on this load screen for a while? <laughs> Bing supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Oh shit, so that, those bags, okay, we're in the basement when they got eaten by that, whatever the fuck is down there. Oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. And a code. Code to the safe. I'm done. Or a pistol. <laughs> Wait. That's what I'm saying. Party supplies. I thought they were going to get like a bunch of different things. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. <laughs> 